Okay. Let's go do some strikes. Go do PvP. No, I want to do strikes. That's where it's where I'm really excited to use it. Doing precision damage against enemies? I can show off the real capabilities of Thorn. Whereas in multiplayer, it's just gonna be like, Alright, here's Thorn. Kinda slightly downgraded because it's multiplayer and things are balanced. Now, when the Iron Banner comes out, I think that people are gonna be real scared of the Thorn. Let's do a level 24 strike. Also kinda help out Ranzik. You can get a good item eventually. Gami needs some purple weapons. I do! I want a bunch of purple weapons. Um, and I also want a purple helmet, <laughs> but luck hasn't been entirely in my favor in that regard. I've kind of had to like force my way through to get most of my things. Besides my nice little auto rifle here, this is like Far the luckiest thing ever. Academy, the Vex have set something in motion. A world-eating machine transforming Venus into another link in their intergalactic chain. This nexus must be stopped and the mind that controls it destroyed. Gom, your upper arm is on fire because you have that weapon you just got. Well, as cool as that would be, it's actually not. It's on fire because of the bond I have, which is called something about light. Let me see. All right, let's go find this nexus. Uh, the song of light. And then boom, fire. Oh. Oh, it's an alien weapon, man. Ooh. Oh, all right. Now we're getting into some sick territory. <laughs> I just point at him and go pew, pew, pew. Oh, I love lasers, guys. And it's a green laser too. I love the color green. It's just like pew, pew, pew. Oh, well, I have to reload. And the reload animation. Look at this. Exotics are where it's at. Picking up multiple servitors. Now the only problem with hand cannons is their very low amount of ammo. But I guess if you make your shots count, it doesn't really matter, and eventually you'll get ammo replacements anyways. Let's shoot a couple of dudes. <laughs> I like this. Now, obviously, I'm not expecting the most overpowered thing ever. Because that would, you know, that doesn't, that's not the point of exotics. But they're cool, and once it's upgraded to start doing, like, a lot more, it's gonna be even better. Right now, it's in its infancy stage. I just got it! It doesn't do an incredible amount of damage in comparison to my upgraded auto rifle but it will in time well no it does do more damage per shot but base damage is at 242 well my auto rifle is at like 472 <laughs> I don't know if the ball is him or it's, <laughs> it's not okay The PlayStation 4 exclusive hand cannon has like 12 shots. Uh, well, I mean, it depends on the weapon. This has six shots. Has to be reloaded. But that's fine. Oh, Marie got a legendary engram. Nice. I haven't found a legendary engram off of an enemy in a very long time. This is actually a little bit tricky to aim. It's got like a really floaty, uh... Iron Sight, in comparison to the other ones. <laughs> the 
The high severator is legitimately the size of my fucking grenade when it's there. It's confusing. Look at that. It just matches. Okay, the upper level's open. Oh, well, Ranzik's dead. <laughs> is it still alive? Oh, no, we got it. Will there be gloves for the Voidwalker spec? Well, I'd assume so. The Sunsinger class is actually really nice. I'm glad that the first exotics that showed were for it. I was like, oh, I'm liking the Sunsinger class. I would love my grenades to last longer. And to have my supernova cool down, everything be awesome. Although I guess not really supernova. That would be more of the Void Walker's attack. But still, exotics. I think they're really meant to play towards specific playstyles. It's just like, well, if you're a blade, like the one for the hunter was Blade Dancer. So if you were someone who liked Gunslinger, you're just kind of like, oh, oh well. Or you got it and just changed up your build. I don't know. Although with that said, I think that the, uh... Voidwalker... Or not Voidwalker, the... Blade Dancer class is a little bit of a risky thing to do on strikes. Like having to run at enemies to kill them? That's... No, that's why I don't use the shotguns... ...against enemies anymore. Like, it's great for players! A massive surge from the dig site below us. But... A boss that can take thousands of shots of damage, but then instant kill you if you get near him? Nah. It's funny because all the things good for PvP sucks for PvE. Well, I wouldn't say like shotguns suck for PvE. I just mean for like higher level strikes, you wouldn't want to run at an enemy that kills you in one shot. It's just generally a bad idea. I gotta get a fucking item that re that increases my reload speed for primary weapons, though. Oh boy. Ah, uh, we left Ranzik. <laughs> Let's go get him, Ranzik. You okay? Hey. Come along. We're gonna go shoot at a massive Hydra for a while. <laughs> Meanwhile, Marie's gonna rush ahead and get all the fun of killing the shitloads of Vex. Now, the only big downside to the hand cannon is that pretty much anything that doesn't have a precision point on it is going to be real bitch to go against. AKA the Minotaurs, the only, way, only enemies in the game that relatively don't have a weak point. You son of a bitch. But I only say that because I like doing precision damage. It kills things really quickly.
Damn it! Wait, what? Oh, jeez. Oh, I just remembered that Ranzik's three level below us. He'll catch up. Especially if we give him some good items from here. The Nexus. It's opening. Uh... I should check for ammo. Yep! Okay. Oh, Ranzik just starts getting blasted. You know, Ranzik, you could always just, like, run away from the bullets rather than sitting there taking the bullets. That also works. Why not? Let's throw some grenades out of space. This actually has a pretty fast firing rate. In comparison to the other hand cannons. All the other hand cannons are just like, pew, and then you wait a couple seconds and then you shoot again. Although maybe not a couple seconds, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. But still, just, can be a little ridiculous. This is where I need to get ammo, oh boy. Maybe I should have bought the boots for hand cannon ammo, rather than auto rifle ammo. I knew I wanted to get the thorn mission complete, but I still went for it. Oh well. These have higher intellect and discipline than the, the hand cannon boots. So that's an another thing I was trying to go for. I missed. All right. I'm glad you faced your pretty little face towards me. I do quite like shooting it. Although I still need ammo. This is the only time I want the Vex to spawn in. Although I have a couple shots. They good? Yep, here they go. I think I've made a terrible mistake! Yep! Oh no. The fucking boss started focusing down on me and just wrecked my health. Hello, hobgoblins! You're the exact opposite of what I wanted to run into while going around a corner. Guardian down. Oh shit, Marie died. Marie! That means Minotaurs were probably around her. Him. Her, I don't know. Marie sounds like a girl's name. But Murray doesn't, so I don't know what they call Oh, he is. They. We'll just say they and them. That's not offensive. Oh, Ranzik. Putting down a couple of orbs of life for us. Thank you very much. Boom. Super, super. Uh 
Uh-oh. I just behind us. All right, harpies. Radzik? Oh, hey, buddy. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I was killing enemies relatively close by. Dude, this thing's gonna be awesome when I got that lingering effect. I imagine that would just be a really nice damage over time. Ooh, blue Ingram. Thank you. <laughs> How's it say? I think Ranzik just put up a super. I heard it go up. Probably, yep, there we go. When the music when the music shifts, that's when you know there's a whole bunch of them spawning in. Taking shots to the face, man. Ooh, look at all these fucking orbs of light. Yes, thank you. Pretty close. Yeah, if we're lucky, we can finish him off before. Oh, god damn it, Ranzik! I'm like shooting, going, why is no damage popping up? And then I realize there's a goddamn bubble on me. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Great work. One tendril of the best. Raid party! Sun single raid party! We must continue to understand their power and haunt the realms where they get. Oh my god, all the fucking grenades! But, uh, as I was saying, yeah, this works out pretty well. It's really nice. It needs to get some upgrades on it. And then it'll do even better. But from the get-go, it's solid. Uh... Eh, I didn't get anything good. I got boots. Crappy boots at that. Jeez, those aren't even close. Alright, how close am I to leveling up? Still a good ways away. I definitely, in order to level this up a lot, I'm gonna have to get a lot of bounties. And we're too late to cancel, so we're just heading into a strike immediately. <laughs> it's just like, nah, you already got a group. Go in. Poof. Something dark stirs in the depths of the Hellmouth. We can feel it. Oh no. A hive abomination bred for unthinkable evil. I don't want to go against Bogoth. Because we literally just spent like a shitload creature. of time in that Before area already. Plus he's just the shittiest fall. strike in general. <laughs> He's just like, oh, by the way, 
Here are fuckloads of knights, and I'm gonna shoot you with my brain face, or laser face. We're, f we're saying farewell! Well, Goodbye, world! It was not my idea. It was the playlist idea. And it's an asshole. Alright, so what do I have right now? I have the... Oh, I actually have two things involving strikes. I actually should keep on going into strikes. Okie dokes! More strikes! That's relatively what we've got today, because I've finished most of my bounties. Well, not my normal ones. I could also go into... on a Mars... and start another exotic thing. But I th think we're good for today. Because, to be fair, that would just give me an exotic, uh, heavy weapon. And while it'd be cool to have a, uh, an exotic weapon, heavy weapon, it's pretty much just gonna be there for show. Because you can only use one exotic weapon and only one exotic piece of armor at a time. If they ever change it, fuck yeah, I wanna go full exotic and just be crazy. <laughs> We gotta get Rancic his gear, so that way he can be ready for the raid. That is in two days. Go to the tower? Why would I go to the tower? I have nothing on the tower. I think. Far below the Ishtar Academy, the Vex have set something in motion. No! A world I don't want to repeat the exact same one over and over again. Even though that's exactly what we're doing when we're doing strikes, I just... I don't like doing it in a row. Must be you know, there's and the how many strikes? It, destroyed. Yeah, the one on Earth, the one on the moon, on the moon, two on Venus, and then two. So there's six strikes in general right now. And I don't want to keep on keep on repeating the same two. All right, let's go find this nexus. I think it sucks that you can't be decked out in exotic stuff. Well, I can understand. Because what's the point of having cool, unique gear if in the end you're just acting yourself out completely in it? Uh, you know, I'll go to the tower because I think we have a couple of us got engrams, right? Yeah, a couple of us got engrams. Do I'm going to post this live stream on YouTube? I will post all the bits of involving the thorn. Yes. Oh gosh, I woke up at 2 a.m. So we are. I've been up for a while. But what was I saying? Oh yes, about exotic things. Uh, you know, if everyone's got- if everyone was decked out in complete exotic gear, then... You wouldn't really be fully unique anymore, right? you just kind of be like this mishmash of every single exotic that you- you've gotten, rather than being like, okay, here's this one piece of exotic, this is going to ex the, you know, the exotics kind of make a statement about what you want to do with your character. So, I have my Sunsinger gloves that says, hey, I want to spam the shit out of grenades and do a lot of damage with them. I have the thorn, which says, hey, I want to shoot things with precision damage and wreck their goddamn shit. And these are very good statements to make. But if I just kind of had all exotic, it'd just be kind of... You'd just kind of be what you generally were beforehand. You know, just a mishmash of everything you've gotten so far. Although, I mean, I guess that's what you are anyways, but... You're more targeted when you're this kind of level. Oh, uh, all these suck. I just want a purple helmet. That's it. A purple helmet would be really nice. So that way I can finally proceed into... Being, being level 27, because at the moment everything is kind of... 
at the max they can be. Although eventually, at the very least, I can get one of these upgrade damages at the end. I mean, obviously I can get the other two. And I definitely have enough spin metal for it, so that's good. Is there anything else that uses spin metal in my inventory right now? Um... Nope. Most things use helium. Yep, everything uses helium. Can't you just buy a purple helmet thing, or is that blue-green stuff? I can buy a purple helmet, but I already spent the points that can use it. You can't buy, uh, purple gear with glimmer. You have to buy them with Crucible and Vanguard marks. And I already spent my- and you can only get a hundred, uh, of each a week. So when you have- let's look, uh, I'll show you an example. Uh, so, I bought the Nergal Savant 3 from her, so that was 65 marks. And if I wanted a helmet, I'd have to get 120 marks. I'm actually fucked out of buying one for a couple of weeks, because I bought the Song of the Light, since I wanted to have an arm on fire. And I- and I- and I, and I made the choice, I knew what I was doing, I was like, I could save these 30 points, and be able to grind my way up to the next helmet, but I don't like these helmets anyway, so I'm actually just gonna put it up to fate. You know? If I get a legendary engram with a helmet in the next couple of days, then, you know, great. If I don't, then, ah, eh. oh well. I'm level 26, I'm ready for the raid. Gom, can't you get exotics from that dude with the strange coin? Yes, but he does not here. He only shows up on Friday and Saturday, and you need strange coins, too. But I don't want exotics right now. I want legendary. Because you can only have one exotic at a time. So it'd be really redundant if I had bought an, er, bought an, If I had bought that, uh, exotic chess piece that the dude had. Even if- even though I had the moats for it, I wouldn't want that. This is a random thing. Also, there's a chance that it could have been for a different class, and I didn't want that. Excuse me, what shade are you using? Also, if you want to spam grenades, you should equip the perk that gives you two grenades. It synergizes with your Sunbreaker as well. Uh, the problem with that thought is that if I replace... I uh, see, the first one, Touch of Flame, that's fantastic. All enemy- all grenades ignite enemies, causing damage over time. So if they get hit by my, my grenades, then boom. They're on fire, they're burning out, and that's really nice. Especially for enemies who had shields, it can kind of, you know, if they walked around a corner, but I burned them a little bit, then they're not gonna get their shields back easily. But if I get two grenades, it's just kinda like, oh... Boy... <laughs> I mean, yeah, granted, I could make it so I could throw ten grenades and... You know, that'd be great, but, I don't know. We can give it a shot. But I prefer, I, I prefer by burn damage. Identify yourself, please. Uh, what was it doing? Oh, right. I wanted to see the shipmaster and see if she had any cool ships. I've got a job to do. Uh, excuse me, what shader are you using? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the first one. But the shader I'm using, in, re in response to the first part, the shader I'm using is the Thunder Devil. I got it from a package uh, that I got from the Crypt Arch. Gami, you gonna do the other exotic bounty? Yes, eventually, but not today, because I just did the Thorn one. And I cared about the Thorn one, so I was dedicated to it, but I don't know if I want to do uh, the other one today. I mean, I might, I'm, I'm gonna go to Mars eventually, but I don't really want to, like, explore and loot, like, 30 chests on Mars when all I want to do is play some strikes, you know? 